वंदन करो गो गो पीर मो पालन हाते वो अमर वरदान मारी माटी सिर्जन करो मे तारो चाकर रे सो गो गो पीर महान गो गो पीर Deserts are expanding the world over. Fertile lands are disappearing with the receding groundwater. All this translates into human misery. Today, I'm in the Indian state of Gujarat. Kutch is the second largest district of the country. There's drought here every two and a half years. It occupies almost 25% of the state of Gujarat but home to a mere 2% of her people. This vast land is slowly becoming a salt desert. Though this march towards disaster is universal, there still exist pockets around the world where people's respect for nature is in the arid state of Gujarat, a crusade is on to restore the Earth's fertility. A crusade that uses folk traditions for a novel purpose. The Kutch is an ancient land, her history rich and glorious. It's only the past 50 years or so that have depleted her natural wealth, drawing her up to a shocking barrenness. I'm in Manvi, and this area has been declared a dark zone. 85% of her groundwater has been exhausted. It's an alarming situation, but all is not lost. I'm headed to a small village, Manjal, to attend a dairo. I've been invited by a local institute to witness a people's movement. Their placards read, water, land, trees, animals, and forests in the local language. The entire population is gathered at the village circle for the dairo, an evening filled with folk music. Lal Rambier, a commercial folk singer, is an integral part of the campaign run by the Vivekanand Research and Training Institute to promote water harvesting. Czech Dam's water temples is a clever ploy. The audience is hooked. Lal Rambier, like a master juggler, switches between music and powerful oratory. After invoking the gods and reminding the people of the glorious past of the Kutch, he shifts track. He speaks the local language and quotes their heroes to motivate them. <laughs> કે કોઈ વાત મગજમાં બેસી જાય કે નહીં આજે આ ચાર પાંચ મિત્રો આવીને કહી ગયા કે જળ મંદિરો બનાવો ચેક ડેમો બનાવો વૃક્ષ મંદિરો બનાવો એ કરવું જ છે આ ગામ થી શરૂઆત કરવી છે શરૂઆત મારા થી કરવી છે હવે હું ઉધાર ના બીડા ના ઠૂઠા બંધ કરીશ હવે હું આડસ મરડી ને ઉભો થાઉં છું હવે હું મારા માટે નહીં આખા ગામ માટે વિચારીશ તો હું કહીશ his passionate speech conjures a picture of self-reliance and prosperity. As the dairo draws to an end, enthused villagers gather around the institute scientists. They are eager to start the construction of their own check dam and seek know-how.
Isn't it paradoxical? Tradition motivating change. Not temples for gods, but check dams for the worship of nature. Check dams for the vast purpose of recharging the groundwater. But I don't think this yatra is going to be complete without a little visit to the local Jalmandir. I think I'll check it out. Well, I'm very interested about what life was like before the, the check dam was built. This check dam at Gandhigram bears witness to the success of the Dairo. It has been made by the villagers themselves after they were motivated by the institute through a Dairo. The water table has improved. Even the migratory birds are back. Rambie tells me that this village too had been drought hit. Her men had migrated to the cities, abandoning their agriculture. This check dam has brought the men and prosperity back to the village. These check dams have become a beacon of hope for the surrounding areas. Motivated by the rejuvenation of this area, 350 similar check dams have been constructed by the villagers of Kutch in the past three years. So they also started doing the same thing in their farms. उसके साथ फोक म्यूजिक जुड़ा हुआ है तो उनको कोई भी बात अगर आप उनकी स्टाइल से डायरो में बैठ के इनके उनको ऐसा लगना चाहिए कि ये हमारे पार्ट ऑफ द डायरो है वो हमारे डायरो में जुड़े और फिर उनकी जो समस्या की बात है वो उनकी जुबान में उनको सेंटीमेंट्स को टच करती है वैसे अगर आप कहो बाय वे ऑफ सॉन्ग्स एंड स्पोकन वर्ड्स वो कुछ कहावतें होती हैं उसके साथ धर्म का नाता जोड़ दो तब जाके ये कन्विंस होते हैं Rambier tells me that these diros are almost always effective. The communication is so powerful that work starts almost immediately. The villagers raise funds, volunteer labor, as well as resources, and the institute provides the guidance. The result has been almost spectacular. The water table has improved with the check dams, in some areas by as much as 85 feet. The Kutch is working towards rejuvenating the traditional small-scale water harvesting systems with people's participation. It's trying to hold on to every drop of water and proving once again that the decentralized small-scale structures have the power to drought-proof the world. I leave with the understanding that conservation and culture, religion and agriculture, go hand in hand in this ancient land.